Hello guys, you know Tail here. Now as you remember, as you remember back in June, the, uh, the president of the Colonian, Z Zaima Zagami, resigned for the company. She resigned from the Colonian after 12 controversial years. And let me tell you, thank God for it. Because let me tell you, I, I can tell you, besides, I know that a lot of people blame her, blame this woman for the destruction of the Galonian, and I cannot blame you guys, because I understand. I mean, man, let me tell you, she, she has went, man, she has landed down the pits on here. She changed the logo. She passed on Adventure Time just to, to and just to have been boy Chum Chum, which no bunny, which no kid ever wanted. No kids ever wanted this. Yes. And she also doesn't like the splat, which is also surprising. Yeah. And she, and she, yes. and all she wants is to make live action shows. And shows. Oh, man, this woman is terrible. She's just like Christina Bell because with, with, with Christina Bell, oh, all she wants is T Titans go every single day of the week for every year, and no. No new original programming being on. No, that's what Bill wants. She just wants T Titans go. Let's go. And that's what it is. Yes. yes. Well, I'm glad that Sagami is gone. It's a good thing the Colonia fired her before she could do any more serious damage. Got that. And so, uh, without her around, I always wondered who was going to be the, that president because Sarah Levy, Levy is very enough to they find a replacement. And then, I think Chris Ficardi, yeah, I think that Chris Ficardi will do the presidency presidency of the Galenia really well because he gets kids, and and who could blame him? I mean, he, man, he and Will McRobb, they they create a lot of great things together. They made the Avengers of Pete and Pete, which is a really good show. They made Snow Day the movie, which is a questionable one, and Sanjay and Craig, which is which I find a meh show, yeah. And not to mention Chris. And not to mention, Chris gave this hate all the, and not to mention, Bacardi gave this hate all the Jungle movie, yeah, because, because, because let me tell you, he gets kids, all right, he and Will McRobb, they both get kids, and they both gave this hate all the Jungle movie, the movie that we all really wanted, and now, and it's a really great TV movie, and that's because of these guys. If I, I got the DVD right now. And besides, Fiscaldi is currently the senior vice president of the Galenian Studio Animation, which is kind of really cool. No, oh, I mean, I mean, sure we got SpongeBob has been on and for a long time. We got the Loud House, which has become incredibly popular. But it's surprising that, that they're not showing up in the Dick Tunes yet. I mean, I mean, they're not showing. I mean, we're still waiting for the second season of Welcome to the Wayne. We're still waiting for Walker's Modern Life Static Clean. We're still waiting for Glitch Checks and Pinky Maliki. Uh, let me tell you, I don't. Okay, I and I don't know what's up with the duration of Peaky Blinky because we have been demanding that show since 2016, and you guys couldn't, and you guys couldn't still release the show on Netflix like you promised. Man, yes, yes. So, for me, so I here's what I think. I think Chris Chris Cardi should be the new president of the Galonian. Man. And what he has to do is they he'll get rid of all all the live action stuff. I mean all the live action shows in Sapo W the W reboot, which I really like. I mean he needs to stop besides besides the Colony, they don't need to follow the Dan Schneider sitcom formula. Because they don't need to follow that, okay? No way, because let me tell because we all know with Dan Schneider leaving and he had a lot of and Always been a lot of rumors about him, and I cannot want to go. In, I don't want to go with the gory details right now because y'all don't want to less. Yeah. So yeah, for Fisk Fisk Costi, he's the, he's the executive vice president of the Galonian Animation Studios. So I think it'd be better to have him as the president of the Galonian. Besides, I'm going downhill. I'm going downhill. I want him. Let's see. I want him to be president. So. <laughs> <laughs> so he can have sitcoms that do not follow the Dan Schneider formula. No. He, they can start a streaming service. Yeah, to rival Cartoon Network, because that's what Cartoon Network is doing. 
I mean, at the moment, yeah, there could only be the other streaming service with Fiscal Fiscal out of out of the belt, out, no. and and stop the delicious of cartoons and show us more cartoons. Yes, 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 yes. And because let me tell you, we need to see these cartoons out. We need to see glitch checks now. We need to see Rockwell's Modern Life started clean now. And besides, I've been waiting on that damn movie since 2017 for crying out loud. Alright? I want to see the Let's see. I want to see glitch text right now. I want to see Marco's Modern Life stat and clean. Ain't. I want to see the available Zim movie. I want to see Picky but Leaky. For the love of God. Ayo, Picky but Leaky. I can't stay that the stress is killing me. Alright? And I'll, yes. And show more focus in the way. Alright? And let me tell you. I'm starting to grow on that show. It's start, the show is starting to grow on me. I'm now, I'm now beginning to like the show. The show. For more, more welcome to the main. Also, bring back Harvey Beaks. Because let me tell you. Because I'll, Cause I'm, cause I'm waiting for C.H. Greenblatt to get Hobby Beaks back on the eel. You know, besides, with Zagami with gone, the, the possibilities are just endless. Maybe we'll finally see that cost and pain show that everyone has been always demanding for. Cause it's been, it's, you see, it hasn't seen the light of days since 2001, and maybe with this card, card under the belt, maybe he can pull it off. Maybe we'll see a cost and pain cartoon on the colony, and that'll be a huge surprise for him. Buddy. So... I urge you, Nickelodeon fans, you're not old, to get Chris Fiskarsky, the president of Nickelodeon, so we can have all of our expectations clear, no more live action shows, more Nicktoons, a, a streaming service to rival Disney, because we all know how Disney is doing with fods and all that crap, I just don't care anymore, alright? Besides, it's kind of hopping. I need to mention this, since I only made a few videos on Disney and fods. That's, yeah. And best of all, we won't have any Zagami for stuff Apple. No, we won't have Dan Schneider formula sitcoms. That'd be good. We'll finally see the Vocals Modern Life movie. We'll finally get to see Glitch Tags, the, the second season of Vocals of the Rain. And we'll even finally see that damn Picky Maliki show that we've been dying for since 2015. And <laughs> this, which I'm hoping it will be made. So, yeah. yeah. I swear to Galoyan. Yeah. Uh, seriously, the Galoyan animation. I owe the essential level. To stop delaying us and show more cartoons. That's why I, I sent a little. So make more cartoons. I really want to see that. That, that. So yeah. So I'm urging you guys to have Chris Chris Carl's DV the president of the Galoyan. If I start a petition right now, go to change.org, make a petition to get him to be pres president so we can have double live action shows and more cartoons. This was. Um, although I could say could think about that. Uh, but anyway, okay. get Chris Chris Carl D. Cardi, the president of Nickelodeon today. I'm counting on you guys because with him in charge, maybe we could turn the whole thing around. Maybe Nickelodeon could finally get a streaming service like Cartoon Network and Disney did, and and even Netflix and Amazon. Yeah, we could finally get that Picky Malinky show and the Glitch, Glitch Tech show. We could finally see the second season of Bunker to the Wayne. The Wayne. We'll finally get to see the Bogus Mono Light movie. We'll finally get to see the Evangel Zim movie. And we had to do it all on Fisk Carlsey's part. Alright? We don't. Yes, we all know Dick Alone doesn't need to be corporate. Alright? I know this because, let me tell you, I never liked Zogami. I hated how she made it more corporate. But Dick Alone doesn't need to be corporate. It needs to be fun. Alright? So, get Chris Fisk Carlsey to be, to be president of Dick. So we won't be any more coping. So they won't be coping. They won't rely on live action shows, and then and then they will finally take cha take those chances with cartoons, taking chances with cartoons. Okay. Because okay. let me tell you, yes, with this guy in charge of one of the of the very first network for kids, maybe, just maybe, it will be more better than Cartoon Network when it's going out right now. Yeah. So. Make sure you guys go down to the comments below. Get Chris Forrest, F Fisk calls the, the, the president of Nick. Make a petition on it. Make it happen. Tell it to everybody you know. You know. Tell it to every person in the business. Maybe Butch Hartman, C.H. Greenblatt. Get everybody involved in this. Because we need Fisk Cody to be present. And then. It's the only way I want to see this work. Because maybe we could turn the tides on his heel. It's the only way we could do this. Yeah. So, this is to all the Galonian fans in the NFL. 
Did you want to see more cartoons, less live action shows, and everything being less open? Get first cars to, to be president of the Galonia today. Yep. I'm Amos Sato, and I'll see you guys next time.